the posting of the colors in the national anthem. Art, art. Well, good morning, everyone. I'd like to send a special welcome to some honored guests we have with here today, uh, Superintendent Allison, President of the Board of Education, Cheryl Logan, and all members of the board. Welcome, er welcome everyone, to our superintendent's breakfast. Uh, to start us off with our program here, we're going to have Cadet Addison Witt come up and recite the Cadet Creed. I am a proud Wichita cadet. I will always conduct myself to bring credit to my family, country, school, and the Corps of Cadets. I am loyal and patriotic. I am the future of the United States of America. I do not lie, cheat, or steal, and will always be accountable for my actions and deeds. I will always practice good citizenship and patriotism. I will work hard to improve my mind and strengthen my body. I will seek the mantle of leadership and stand prepared to uphold the, <laughs> prepared to uphold the Constitution and the American way of life. May God grant me the strength to always live by this creed. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm the City Corps Commander of Wichita. My name is Cadet Colonel Timothy Vogel. It's a pleasure seeing you all this morning. Uh, I'd just like to start off by telling you a little bit about myself. If you don't know, I go to Heights High School. Uh, we got Captain Veronica Parnell, who's our Senior Aerospace, Aerospace Science Instructor, right back there, and our uh, current Wing Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Sierra Corps, back there as well. A um, little bit about myself is I play football. I like to play football. I mean wrestling. I could do it this year, but uh, I like it. Uh, really involved, and I'm also a JRTC. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. But uh, JRTC is just—it's it, a huge program in many ways, and it has helped prepare me for the future in many ways. And I could stand up here all day and tell you about it. But the biggest thing I really want to talk about is how it's developed me as a citizen of the United States. Uh, and and that, that carries a lot of weight to it. People kind of take it for granted nowadays, but to say that you're a citizen of the United States is really a big deal because you're in one of the safest places you can ever be. You have an opportunity to do so much, and JROTC has helped me prepare for the future 
by learning that and accepting that so I can help better my community as well. And you know, that can be something as simple as helping your community locally or even joining the armed services or however you help out the, you know, your community. And JRTC really pointed that out for me. And it, it's, uh, it's helped me become a better disciplined person. I mean, I know I seem pretty disciplined, but back in the day I was a little rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard to believe. I seem like a nice guy. But uh, the JRTC has just really helped me take a turn for the better, though. And now I stand here before you as a senior in high school, ready to graduate and go to college. And hopefully I'll be, uh, be able to serve in our United States Navy. And uh, JRTC has just helped me prepare for that. It's helped me become better in every single category. It's helped me focus on my grades. Uh, like I said, having our awesome instructors to help us out, too. They just, they do so much for us. They give us all kinds of resources we can use, including themselves, to help us, you know, further progress our lives after high school. Because, you know, after high school, I mean, you're out in the real world. That's, that's how it is. It's, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you're, you're still at home with your parents, you're still having fun, you know, then the moment high school's over, you take your diploma, and then it's good luck to you. And, uh, <laughs> But JROTC helps you prepare for that. It gives you the mentality that you know you need to be a hardworking individual to do your best for your community and for those around you, and that you got to be a support to those people around you because they're going to help you out as well. So uh, that, that's going to conclude my speech. Uh, JROTC, like I said, is, is a fantastic program, and I'm glad we have it in our city. It's a, like, a very, very awesome program to be a part of. I'm glad to lead it this year. I'm glad to have my awesome course staff. They're fantastic, and. Uh, to also talk to you about how JRTC has prepared her for the future, I will be followed by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Kelly Wynn. Hi, I'm Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Kelly Wynn from East High School. I am also currently the Deputy City Corps Commander of Wichita Leadership and JRTC programs. Um, outside of JRTC, I am also the President of National Honor Society and I enjoy participating in several ethnic clubs such as uh, Lion and Dragon Dancing, Tai Chi, Irish Dance Club, and Middle Eastern Dance Club. <laughs> um, well, if you take a peek into my closet, the first thing you'll see is a plethora of floral and lace dresses and skirts. But if you look closely, you'll find something very peculiar. Right next to my collection of heels is an assortment of military combat boots. <laughs> and tucked away behind the flashy dresses is a sleek black bag. Inside is one of my most prized possessions. I wear it with pride and utmost respect. It represents my reverence to the armed forces and the colorful array of adornments. Illustrates my hard work and dedication to the junior ROTC program. It is my JROTC uniform. Throughout my four years in JROTC, I have learned that as a high school student, I am not limited in what I can do. Although it may be difficult for me to make a difference in my community where, am I, where I am underestimated, with the help of my friends, family, and instructors, I am able to not only participate in community service around the city, but also make my own events I've, and initiate my own events to raise money for charity. One of my biggest challenges is my size. Because of my small stature, it is more difficult me, for me to command a presence demanded for a commander. However, by participating in multiple leadership positions in JROTC, I have improved my leadership skills and learned to carry myself with confidence. I have also come to understand that my small size can also be an advantage. Because I am not initially as intimidating as Cadet Vogel, <laughs> <laughs> cadets are more likely to approach me and feel comfortable whenever they ask for help, whether it be with homework or when they need somebody to be their voice. I have also learned that as a leader, I am responsible to inspire others. This is why I dare to be different, to break stereotypes, social norms, and expectations to participate in seemingly male-dominated areas because I know there are little girls that look up to me and I want to show them that there is not an invisible glass ceiling blocking them from rising to wherever they want to go. JROTC is a program that reaches beyond the classroom. It is more than books, PowerPoints, and trophies. I love JROTC because it teaches discipline, leadership, and character while also inspiring confidence and service. By J joining JROTC, I have set myself up for success. After four years in the program, I have learned about aerospace history, aerospace science, astronomy, table etiquette, how to handle stress, and finance. But more importantly, I have learned the values of friendship, the importance of being open-minded, and the ability to speak my mind. 
and that by, le by taking the lead, I also pave the path for others who want to make a difference. I will be followed by our core command chief, Jasmine Williams. Hello, everybody. I am the core command chief, Jasmine Williams, as she said, and uh, a little bit about myself and other things I do other than JRTC. Are I participate in cross country um, soccer, and I'm also in orchestra at school. Um, how JRTC has prepared me for the future. The JRTC program is very unique in that it is based on cadets teaching other cadets, while the instructor supervises and helps cultivate our leadership skills and character. The first thing we learn as cadets is discipline through drill. And with that discipline, we learn how to respect get cadets of higher rank simply because we aspire to one day be the one in command. Next, we learn integrity, because not only do we need to respect our peers, but also have respect for our peers, but also for ourselves, by always making the right decision, no matter who is watching. What I love about JRTC is that it teaches cadets to lead by giving them the opportunity to practice, because not all cadets come into this program ready to take charge. For example, I know that when I first became unarmed commander, I was very nervous and it took me a while to get acclimated to being in charge and having all these people look up to me. The great thing is, when you're put in that position of responsibility, it forces you to take to step up and it allows you to, that spark of leadership that we all have inside of us to grow until we have finally gained the confidence to lead without hesitation. This in turn builds our character. Because not only do we have to be accountable to ourselves, but also to the other cadets in the Corps who look, who look to us for help. Furthermore, this program allows cadets to better themselves in their community through the volunteer work, while also learning about a little bit about selfless service. Because in helping others in need, you realize that putting a smile on someone's face is much better than getting a paycheck. <laughs> All of these things are skills that we, I can use in the future. As cadets, we come into this program with potential, and with the opportunities granted to us through it, we are gifted with a knowledge that keeps on giving. Because not only can we be successful in a military career, we can be successful in anything we aspire to do. And I will be followed by um, Cadet Sofia Ramirez. Good morning, Super. <laughs> Good morning, Superintendent Allison, Mayor Brewer, and other distinguished guests. I would like to share with you how my leadership class has helped me become a better person today in preparation for my tomorrows. Leadership. When some, when some people hear it, they probably think of a class they're forced to take for nine weeks in their sixth grade year. Yet when I hear it, I think of a class and programs that are shaping me. The first time I truly got involved in a leadership activity was in my sixth grade year when Chief Kit encouraged me to participate in the Cadet Challenge. That's an event that tests your physical endurance, and I enjoyed it. Since then, I try to participate in everything involving leadership. For approximately three years, I have been challenged to improve as a person and overcome my fears, communicate tactfully, and lead and follow. Most of what I learned came from being, came from being a drill team member commanding a junior varsity color guard, and this year being varsity drill commander. I definitely learned patience and how to deal with frustration. No one succeeds in a drill meet alone. Attempting to get nine individuals to march together is not that easy, and Chief Kit has high expectations and says there are life lessons taking place. The leadership course has also given me several opportunities I would never have participated in. One, during my seventh grade year, I commanded the color guard at a Harlem Globe Charters game with hundreds of people watching, and I'm looking forward to doing it again. It was awesome. That experience was one where we were the first middle schoolers that we know of to do it. Most recently, 12 cadets, including myself, were given the opportunity to attend a city council meeting where Mayor Brewer read our proclamation affirming nonviolence and mutual respect. Another first for myself and others. The trip to City Hall is a memory I will always cherish. Now to the community service opportunities. We've painted floats for the Veterans Day Parade and been the color guard for Woodland Elementary. I am 100% positive volunteering will follow me into my future. I fell in love with community service the first time I ever helped in a project, which was in leadership. 
The real joy in community service was that everyone is working together, which is teamwork, to achieve a common goal. That is not something you see very often in our communities anymore. <coughs> community service projects are not about you. They're meant to help other people and your community. As we, we as a team have painted the t main entrance to our stairs at school, helped Woodland, Woodland Elementary School several times, marched in parades, collected canned goods for those in need, and I'm only in eighth grade. I will continue doing community service in the future because I believe if you give and do good for your community, you will receive good in return. I have learned that about tact, integrity, loyalty, courage, and just being a good citizen, all because of my leadership class, and this will be with me for my entire life due to how much these lessons positively impact me. I'm told these are life lessons. Some may say leadership has taught them very little, but I say they are not involved, and leadership is making me a better person today in preparation for my tomorrows. I've had so many opportunities and learned so much. I have had a chance to go before the Honorary Cadet Board, speak at the City Council, take a selfie with the first fire chief, female fire chief, and now be a member of the leadership <coughs> academic team, speak before you, and again, I'm just in the eighth grade. Leadership is teaching me so many incredible traits that will help build my character beyond what it could be if I had not signed up for this program. I'm proud to say I am a cadet in the Wichita Leadership Program, and I will always remember the outstanding lessons I learned while participating in the class and the life-changing experiences I was allowed to participate in. Like the Junior Cadet Challenge, which was an overnight camp, which put me face to face with some of my greatest fears, such as heights and waking up early. Now that I have, now that I have overcome these fears, I will be more successful. Because as I grow and life presents new challenges, I can reflect back on those that I've conquered during my leadership season of life. I'm so thankful for the leadership program as it continues to challenge me to be a better person. I have been told there's nothing wrong with being first, especially when you're doing good. And the leadership class has provided me a lot of firsts. Thank you for listening. I will be followed by Cadet Private Anna Harper. Good morning, Superintendent Allison, President Logan, Mayor Brewer, <coughs> and guests. My name is Cadet Private E2 Anna Marie Harper, and I attend Krista McAuliffe Academy in Wichita, Kansas. For those who may not know, Krista McAuliffe Academy is a K-8 school. I'd like to say thank you for this great opportunity to present to you, to come before you, and to briefly share with you how leadership instills pride in me and my school. <coughs> First, I'd like to share a little bit about me. I'm 13 years old, I'm in the eighth grade, and I come from a military family. My long-term goals are to become a wedding designer and a lawyer. If I am unable to achieve these goals, I will work hard to build a good reputation, further educate myself, and become a great citizen like my dad, who proudly served in the military for 20 years. CMA shows pride in many ways. For example, we recently had a drill team competition at our school in the gymnasium. Our, drill team lead, our leadership drill team has represented our school well and with pride. We have done community service with canned food drives and picked up trash around our school grounds to help keep our school look great. The leadership program allows us to take pride in our school and community. In November, we participate in the Veterans Day ceremony and parade. We even wrote thank you letters to veterans receiving medical care for the Wichita Veterans Administration. Our participation in the Veterans Day events have allowed our school to demonstrate pride and respect for those who have served our country. The leadership program instills pride in me by teaching me it's okay to be different. It's okay if you stick out or if you're different. The main thing is you're happy with who you truly are. The leadership program allows me to help those who are and who are not in the program. As I give back and help those who are around me, many emotions go through me. But one thing for sure is I'm glad I did this and joined the leadership program. Leadership encourages us to do this. Because of this program and my father's military influence, it is molding me into who I am today and have yet to become. I have become very prideful of wearing the uniform and what I have done. I'm reminded every day before class as we recite the Leadership Cadet Creed. A line of the Cadet Creed states, I will wear my uniform with honor and pride. I will continue to do so. In conclusion, I want to say thank you for listening to me as I shared with you how our school shows pride and how the leadership program is still pride with me, within me. Hoo-ah! <laughs> I will be followed by 
by Cadet Captain Esteban Contreras. Good morning, everyone. I am Cadet Captain Esteban Contreras from North High School. A little bit about myself. I'm a junior, a company commander, part of the drill team, part of Madrigals. I also play varsity football and captain of the wrestling team. How would Jared C has improved my leadership? Before Jared C, I had been given few responsibilities and chances to lead. And when I did get these opportunities, I was shy and submissive and giving in to others. This was because my middle school offered very little chance for, at leadership. And I had no idea of how to correctly lead. But I would still look up to, though my height would say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> it also means coming into North High School as a freshman, Jared C was completely new to me. Even just being in the class for a short amount of time, there was a notable change in my leadership. And it was noted by my coaches and teachers who held me to a higher standard than my peers. Jerry TC did not allow me to be shy. I was always interacting with my fellow cadets in and out of the classroom. The team building days were the best. They proved to be the most important. It showed me that I could contribute to making the best decisions and it showed especially at the JCLC summer camp. Being thrown into positions of power like company commander was so intimidating to me, being that I was no higher than a private first class at school. The camp itself was difficult, though the first Sergeant White and the fellow NCOs would say otherwise. It showed me that the best leaders are not always the biggest or the most athletic, they are the most dedicated. Dedication to your squad, platoon, company, and battalion, from the smallest thing to the largest. Working hard to do your best and the best for the people around you. It is a lesson that I have carried close to me. A leader is someone who can make sound and timely decisions. I remember writing this definition down in class and keeping it close to my heart. Summer camp quickly shed some light on the subject because those are the decisions you can make. If you took too long, you pushed. <coughs> if you made bad decisions, you pushed. And if you made the right decision, you still pushed. <laughs> but you knew it was a sergeant's way of saying good job. Being a company commander <laughs> told me that I must have been doing something right. My squad leaders and most of my company are good friends of mine and made me look forward to an easy year, right? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> it was the hardest thing getting people who you are so close to and could joke around with to suddenly respect you. Often the level two and three cadets would not listen to me because we knew each other so well and would just joke around. This attitude like a virus spread to the rest of my company I thought about making everyone push all the time, but a tyrant is no way to lead. I instead found a way to put my cadets in my shoes, and they quickly understood what needed to be done. I take great pride in, I take great pride in this because in Jerry C, I have seen weak and strong leaders, and I figured out what needed to be done with the help of my few cadets who noticed the same thing. Jerry C has made such an impact on my leadership. Instead of being a shy, short, soft-spoken follower, I'm now a sociable leader who can make the hard decisions. I get opinions from others before I make decisions, but whatever I decide goes. The lessons I have learned have not been solely for JRTC. I use them all the time. They have helped inquire to lead a section or have a solo. Also, I wrestling, her, sorry. Also me wrestling to be the captain and work the hardest and set an example for others. Thank you. and that will be followed by Cadet Lance Corporal Austin Russell. Good morning, Colonel Hester and distinguished guests. My name is Cadet Austin Russell from Brooks Magnet Middle School. Today I will be talking about what leadership has taught me about citizenship and leadership has, leadership has taught me what about lead. Sorry, let me start over. Today I will be talking about what leadership has taught me about citizenship. Leadership is a choice in school. And I chose to be in it this year after one semester in sixth grade. Some kids ask, why are you in leadership? I look right back at them and say, because I like structure, I like doing what is right, and I like being a good citizen. Many of you may not be familiar with the Marine Corps traits JJ did tie buckle, but I would like to share them with you and why they make me a better citizen. J stands for justice. This means to show fairness or equity in all things, no matter how big or small they may seem. 
Being in the middle of three boys, I've seen my fair share of justice and injustice. <laughs> J stands for judgment. This is the ability to make sensible decisions. Trust me, making sensible decisions isn't always easy in seventh grade. D stands for dependability. Being reliable or trustworthy has always been who I am. My parents depend on me to go to school and do my best in all that I do. I stands for integrity. This means to be honest or have strong moral principles. And we're not talking about Principal Erickson. We're talking about ideas that are good and true. I believe in doing what is right, helping others, and standing up for the little, for the little person. D stands for decisiveness. The ability to make quick choices and confidently. It isn't always easy for most students in seventh grade, but I always have room to improve. T stands for tact. This means to show sensitivity in dealing with others or difficult issues. My work with Circle of Friends and Student Council in elementary school and last year has taught me a lot about sensitivity. I stands for initiative. This is the power or opportunity to take act or take charge before others do. I do this in leadership class when Tech Sergeant Wilson asked me to take charge of class. E stands for enthusiasm. The intense and eager enjoyment or interest in something. I show enthusiasm for parades, community service, drill, and my most favorite, PT. B stands for bearing. This is the manner in which one conducts or carries oneself. My parents often say I'm an old soul in a young body. I act older than I actually am. U stands for unselfishness. This is the quality or state of, be state of being generous. generous. Leadership has taught me to put others before myself. C stands for courage. This is, this is the ability to do something that frightens others. Leadership helped me meet my fear of grizzly, at Grizzly Adventures by doing the ropes course at summer camp. I still don't like heights, but it was a lot of fun. K stands for knowledge. This is when one uses facts, information, and skills learned through learning experiences and education. I know I am still young and have many things to experience, but leadership has taught me, has given me many opportunities for increasing my knowledge through world news, current events, and lectures. L stands for loyalty. Loyalty is a strong feeling or support of allegiance. I have a strong loyalty for my country, and one day I hope to serve in our country's military. E stands for endurance. Endurance is the ability to last or withstand wear and tear. Practice for cadet challenge helps me improve my physical endurance. Studying for tests helps me improve my mental endurance and keeps me on honor roll. All of these traits represent a good citizen. Leadership has taught me how to show all of these traits through learning experiences I've encountered in camp, drill team, color guard, and community service. Some say to be a good citizen, you must be educated. I'm lucky to have the opportunity to participate in the JROTC program as a part of my public education. It is helping me to learn how to do what is right and be willing to give back to the community. While I am six years away from becoming an adult citizen, middle school leadership is helping, me, is helping shape me into the best citizen I can be. Thank you, Wichita Public Schools, for providing this class. Thank you, leadership. Oorah. I will, be follow, I will be followed by Staff Sergeant Faith Eck. Hi, I'm Faith Eck, and I am from Wells Middle School. I am in the seventh grade, and I will be talking about how his leadership made me a better student. Leadership has made me a better student because it teaches me how to show respect to others as well as myself. The creed teaches me how I'm held to better my self-control, my honesty, and my attitude. Due to the structure of the leadership program, I have made large strides in my behavior goals at school. This year, I have maintained my goal of 85% or above for all but seven days. I am currently working on moving to transition level. I have been in a special school for the past four years. I have participated in leadership this current year and last year. I could have not made the necessary changes needed to transition without the structure of the leadership program. I am currently working on a promotion packet to improve my rank from staff sergeant. I always try to improve upon my rank in the, le in the leadership class. And I also will try to improve my role as commander. When in uniform, I strive to li live up to the creed and show integrity by honoring what the uniform stands for.
I take pride in wearing the uniform and I don't want others to see me as a leader as well. I have learned to try to help others, others suffer from the same issues, help others who have suffered from the same issues that I once did. I intend to continue with leadership throughout my middle and high school years. Leadership has also made me a better student because it has, teach, it has helped me improve my relationship with others and staff. Because of leadership, I now want others to succeed. When a cadet wanted to drop out, I talked him out of it by encouraging him, telling him I was willing to help him learn. My, my motivation to help cadets has transitioned to the classroom as well. When playing games with my classmates, I have learned to compromise when we have disagreements so that everyone's happy. I'm a lot happier with my squad this year because we have more cadets. It's always better to have a full squad than a partial squad. I think that every time we march, we improve, even if not by much. The thing that counts the most is that we work together. I wholeheartedly believe that if we could get the open ranks and close ranks march memorized, we could be the best team in Wichita Public Schools. I also believe that the, with the right boost, we could end up somewhere we've never been as a team. Mr. State is one of those guys who I just can't think enough. In my opinion, he is the best leadership instructor in USD 259. If I had to choose, I would choose him. Please do everything to keep him as a leadership instructor. <laughs> I, am, I, I am the person I am partly because of Mr. State's leadership instructions. He is the reason I joined leadership in the first place. He does everything he can to help students. I would not want to train him for anything in the world. He's like a second father to me. I am so happy he's my leadership instructor. I feel as if he is my hero. If he hadn't let me join last, last year, I'd be in the classroom doing busy work and additional worksheets for the bad choices that I used to make. Instead, I'm doing things I enjoy and learning skills that will help me become a better student and citizen. I, am a, I have a big role as the commander for Color Guard and backup for Joy Team. I am proud to be Cadet Staff Sergeant Faith Egg and very proud to be a student of Mr. Staff Sergeant Mr. State. I will be followed by Savannah Hamilton from East Southeast High School, Cadet Staff, Ser Staff Sergeant Major. Okay, so I have a little speech here, but uh, probably won't stick to it. Um, I am Savannah Hamilton. I go to Southeast High School. I am a junior there, and I am currently the Battalion Sergeant Major. Um, I'm speaking today because the lovely Colonel Hester has a fine way of convincing me to do things for him. Um, but it is definitely an honor. Um, I want to thank all of you for coming, and thank you for doing everything that you do for our community. Um, all of these other fine cadets, as all of these other fine cadets have talked about, I will also tell you what um, JROTC has done for me. Coming from an extremely long line of family members in the military, I have always had respect for America, the military, this uniform, and most importantly, the flag of the United States of America. One thing that I can tell you is that JROTC has done everything for me. I'm jumping right over the bridge here, as a cadet Colonel Vogel put it earlier, I, was, I used to be a bit rowdy myself. Um, you won't use the words that I put. Um, and I wouldn't be where I am today without the program. It has completely turned my life around, 180 degrees. In all honesty, I don't even know where I would be without JROTC. Um, don't mean to tug at any emotions, but uh, I've imagined myself strung out. God knows where on God knows what. Um, sorry, middle schoolers. <laughs> Probably a little TMI. But, um, and that's definitely not how my grandma has raised me. Um, my grandma did raise me. Both of my parents are God knows where. And, um, you know, when, when you go through tough, tough times like that, sometimes the morals just kind of disappear. And your mind takes control of your body uh, without any say so from your conscience. And sometimes it takes something or someone of value to uh, bring those positive morals back. Um, that's what Jared to see gave me. It gave me a second chance at life. It showed me how to ground myself and discipline myself and prove to others that people can change. That it's not impossible to become a better person even when you feel like you're in a deeper hole than Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> um, 
The JROTC made me smile again, and it showed me that you have to be a great follower to become a great leader. Most important thing about JROTC is it has taught me life skills. And everything that I have learned in this course and the extracurricular activities um, can be applied to life. That the best way to lead is to lead by example. And as I got more involved, I joined drill team to occupy my time. And I had a lot of time to occupy. Um, I also have two jobs. I work for myself and my family. And without JROTC, I highly doubt that I would even have the motivation to have gotten my second job, much less the first, right? Um, and I would tell my let ones, or you know, you middle school cadets here today, to never give up. That you never, ever, ever know how close you are to winning. That you never know what's on the other side of that door, because when one closes, the other one is always open, and it's always there waiting for you. And it's true, the grass really is greener on the other side. <laughs> and I'll give it to everybody here today. We appreciate you. Every little thing that you do, even if it's just a, oh, hey, good job, cadet. You know, you look very good in uniform. It means a lot. You know, it's a little ego boost. And, you know, it makes a smile. And like a, our cadet chief said, a smile is much better than a paycheck. So I just want to thank you all for coming today. And I, ooh, oops, somebody left their clip up here. And I will be followed by Cadet Private First Class Eric Davis from Mead Middle School. Hello and good afternoon, Superintendent Allison, Colonel Hester, fellow cadets, and other guests for this fine day. Welcome to the Superintendent's Breakfast. I'm Cadet Private First Class Eric Davis Jr. from Mead Middle School. Can you believe that I went from a 2.19 GPA, five C's, no A's at all, to a 3.86, all A's and one B? For real, I'm dead serious, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> or even that I went out, 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 that I went from getting sent out daily, having the right buddy teacher notes a page long to getting the principal's award for hard work. Well, that's why I'm standing up here at this moment. I'm going to talk to you about how leadership has changed me. Leadership has helped to change me with discipline and obedience, my grades, and my athletic abilities. The first way leadership has changed me is discipline and obedience. First off, I should say, oh my goodness, I was a wreck last year in this category. <laughs> but actually, after I think about it now, really my whole school career, I was back talking, distracting, defying, and all. But get this, I was even doing it while in leadership class. Although, let me be the first to tell you, leadership would be right in shape. It sure did to me. All those push-ups I had to do got me real wins and butt. <laughs> Plus, writing centers until your hand cramps and you can't move it anymore works too. But it never rang a bell to me. I didn't know why Major was giving me that kind of punishment. I was confused of why she was so harsh, but it was because I wasn't sticking up my part of the deal. After I figured out that after, after I figured that out, I took a self-examination and I got much better. Last year was really bad, but after all that disciplinary action that took place, it helped me to become an outstanding student and citizen. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the second way leadership has changed me, grades. Wow, what a change. If you went ahead and took a look at my report cards from then and now, you probably think I was cheating. <laughs> it inspired me to change my grades because I despise not being able to do certain activities. Major Harmon kept telling me to get my grades up, but I didn't listen. I was way too hard-headed. I wasn't listening to what they were telling me. They said that if I didn't hurry up and get my grades up, I was, I was going to fall in a hole that I couldn't get out of. And guess what? I did. But I didn't see myself declining. All year, I never saw myself getting a reputation. A reputation that I wasn't applying myself any. And that I wasn't catching on fast enough and things of that nature. And then I decided to pay attention to what Major and others were telling me. I found out that there was some, some real good advice given. Because of that experience, now my grades are in tip-top shape. For my last reason on how leadership has changed me is my athletic abilities. Leadership is such a good way to build up and get stronger. It is something called PT, physical training. I'm talking about straight grueling, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, half-mile, full-mile, runs, and all. And when I say grueling, it doesn't mean tired after runs, it means grueling. If that was every day, 
I would be as big as a semi. <laughs> eighth, eighth grade, getting up early in the morning to do a uh, PT at their camps. Camps in the summertime, do it too, while I would talk. You won't catch me doing that. I play football, and I'm active a lot, and it still doesn't give me a better workout than PT. I am slowly but swiftly getting stronger, and PT is a gigantic factor. To close and wrap up today's session, I've talked to you about how leadership has changed me. Those reasons are and have been discipline and obedience, grades, and my athletic abilities. And uh, leadership has changed me in so many more reasons, though. But I'm just blabbering about three of them I could think of right off the bat. I was just a book by, by its cover and ended up loving it. Leadership can change plenty of aspects in one person's life, but it can really inspire and change lives. Last year, I wasn't a squad leader or even reliable, but now I'm at the top of my class as a platoon sergeant. Some people may come in and hate it like I did, then the next thing you know, be on their way to the military base. Thank you gladly and kindly, Superintendent Allison, Colonel Hester, the cadets, and others for giving me this wonderful opportunity to speak my very own speech and give my journey on how leadership has inspired and changed me. And have a great rest of your day. Next, I will be followed by Superintendent John Allison. Obviously, anything I can say uh, would be uh, inadequate compared to our cadets this morning. So uh, what I really want to do is, is say thank you for attending, for supporting our JRTC program. Uh, a special thanks to Colonel Hester and his staff. As you can see today through those speeches, um, a number of common themes. First is how they help our students develop life skills. Regardless of what they're going to do in the future, the skills they're learning now are going to put them ahead of their peers. The second is community service. And I've joked about it's, it's impossible to go to any community event and not turn around and see one of our JROTC cadets there helping. And as I think about that, not only in the initiatives they take on, but there is not a single community group that's reaching out to help citizens in Wichita that doesn't rely on our cadets to assist them. And that can only be possible because of the leadership that they have in their instructors. Instructors that go way beyond. And when I see them at these events, it's evenings, it's weekends, it's summer, it doesn't matter. Cadets are there as well as their instructors. So a special round of applause for our JROTC instructors. I'm not sure where Savannah is. Uh, Colonel Hester has that same impact on me. He gets me to do things I would have never thought about, so you're not the only one. I'm sure we've got a room full of folks that could say that at this point. So um, in closing, I do want to uh, uh, say a special thank you and recognize Command Sergeant Major Isaac Fields. Would you please stand? Sergeant Major will be retiring uh, at the end of the school year after 18 years. Having had two students at Southeast, I've been to a lot of Southeast activities, and I can honestly say I have never been to one that you haven't been present. Your influence at Southeast is tremendous, as well as it is for, for the entire command and the responsibilities and things that you do. So very special thank you, sir. And with that, thank you very much. Well, again, I'd like to thank everyone for your awesome speeches. If we could get another round of applause for all of our speakers. I'd also like to send a special thanks to our interview team, Crystal Absala and her team. If you could also give her a round of applause. Well, this concludes our superintendent's breakfast. I thank everyone for coming out tonight. Or, well, this morning. Sorry. <laughs> a little tired. Uh, and I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Drive safe. <laughs>